guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia, if you are new here. Long time ago, I uh, ordered a couple of fabrics from my favorite shop and I was never disappointed with any of them before until I received this fabric. Well, at the beginning, I have to say it's not my favorite color choice and it's the snakeskin is not my favorite animal print, but I wanted to see this fabric because uh, it was very inexpensive. It's some type of like a pleather fabric. And yeah, I was not impressed with it when I, uh, when I got it. But uh, on a positive note, uh, I have something to try to work with, something new, new fabric that I don't feel sorry to destroy, but of course, it would be very nice if I can make something wearable out of it. So with that said, here we are today. I will not be explaining the pattern because it's exactly the same skirt. Yes, I'm going to make a skirt today. It's exactly the same skirt like from my uh, Christmas dress uh, video. If you haven't watched it, you can go ahead and watch it here. I just made it longer and I thought it's a nice simple design and maybe even from this crazy fabric, maybe it could be something that I will actually wear. So let's go ahead and let's try to make this skirt and let's see what it will look like at the end. As a quick note uh, that I want to say about the fabric is not really like a typical pleather fabric actually if you take a pin out of it you cannot see any hole anymore so yeah good for me another thing is uh, about uh, ironing the seams it's possible but you have to be very 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 careful and just use uh, iron on very low settings and definitely put something over this before so I have front panel of the skirt, uh, the center one that I cut it on fold. Then I have two side panels over here. And then I have two back pieces with the dart. And in the center they will, there will be invisible zipper. With a reflection I would have maybe place the zipper on the side of the skirt. Maybe that would be nicer but I already cut my pieces. So I'm not going to change that now but in future if I'm going to make this skirt again definitely I'm going to put the invisible zipper on the side so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to place the side panels on the front panel right sides facing and I'm going to sew it from top until this notch so all the way from top until here stop back stitch and exactly the same on the other side So let's sew these two darts at the back pieces now. So now I guess let's do the side seams of the skirt. So I will place the front facing me, then one back panel, pin it and sew it until the end this time, completely until the end. And the second one as well. So I went ahead and I tried to iron it carefully. So as I said, uh, you can see it worked quite well. Nothing really happened with the fabric. I can go ahead and sew on the invisible zipper over here at the back. Uh, but before I wanted to show you uh, what is the waist, but before I wanted to show you uh, the waistband of the skirt, uh, it's three pieces. I mean waistband, it's like a facing of the skirt. So I will sew them together and then it will go on the top of the skirt. But this will be after I will sew in the invisible zipper. Okay, so now this is done. It looks quite nice if I say so myself. So now let's go ahead and make the... Excuse me. 
and make the waistband and then we will go and sew it all around the waist of the skirt. Also, another great thing about this fabric is that it's not fraying, so theoretically I could just go and leave the bottom uh, unsewn, I wouldn't have to necessarily hem it, but I think I'm going to use hemming tape, uh, if you know what that is. I use it quite a lot for finishing the hem, it's great, and I think it's going to have really nice and clean edges. So all the way until here, also this part. So actually I was wrong about this zipper part, uh, so don't sew it right now because I forgot that I need to understitch the seam allowance to the lining part of the skirt, to the facing. Seven days and seven hours since I last heard your voice. I know that you it is looking really really great uh, so the last thing is to finish this slit in the front and so as I said I'm just going to use a hemming tape so there will be no seams and for those who don't know this is the hemming tape so you first iron it then you remove uh, the paper and then you fold it and iron it again so you can see guys how it looks like it's super super nice and clean I'm really shocked how it turned out nothing is coming out so far for now the bottom is not hemmed because this fabric as I said it's not fraying at all the facing is holding nicely I already tried it and it's very comfortable so let me show you now how it looks like on it. So please just hear me out. I know I've done 